Fight commentary breakdowns here in the Weston Hotel in Whistler. I'm a little sick, guys, so bear with me. This on the left is Dun Yong, the guy that fought the Kung Fu guy. He's the Shui Jiao, so he's Kung Fu too, but he's a practical wrestling, grappling type of Kung Fu. In this fight, some Spanish dude paid 20 bucks to challenge him. So let's go. First thing to know is that once a month, this happens in Xu Xiaodong's dojo. Basically, you pay 20 bucks, you can challenge any of the fighters there. So Deng Yong is Xu Xiaodong's friend. Look at him. He's like, I'm not even putting my hands up. I'm not scared of you, Spanish man. This isn't the Spanish Empire anymore. A little lefty through. Spanish guy. Countering. Stepping, right? He's keeping light on his feet. Oh, but he's got no responses, man. The moment... Actually, he might not be Spanish. I heard someone, maybe his wife or his girlfriend or something, shouting in um, in English. So he's throwing combos. But seriously, he he's unable to block or cover up or avoid any of the shots that our Shui Jiao Master is throwing. And guys, also to note, our Shui Jiao Master, Deng Yong is also out of his element again because he's striking. You know, he's trained in grappling, but he is striking. He obviously is more an MMA fighter than just a Shui Jiao guy. But look at him. He is not... By the way, you see Shui Jiao done right there? A little winter melon on the right side, a little panda. He's not a little panda, he's a big fat panda. But look at Dan Yong. Just look at that. Every shot is connecting, man. Our Spanish or our Western dude try to throw a hook, a left hook you saw earlier. Um, they're both in their 50s. So there isn't a big age gap. Oh, like the previous time we saw our Shui Jiao Master fight the 30-something-year-old. Big Kung Fu guy. Ugh. Man, you got to throw your jabs quick, man. I feel like... Our, our Western guy, I'm just calling him Western because I don't know if he's Spanish. He's kind of letting his jab linger out there. He's not pulling it back. So our Dun Yong guy kind of just like takes those as openings and socks them. Do a little standing count right here. He says this is okay. So here we go. Let's see if he's going to adapt. Usually you can't adapt, right? The more rocked you are, the worse you get, basically. So... See, he's scared now. Ugh, that right connected. Ouch. Oh, look at that. His name is Monroe. That's not a... Sorry, he's not a Spanish dude. Whatever, that was it, man. Was that it? Or is it going to be another round? Oh, she will just give a little speech. Maybe we can find out more about this guy. The person recording this is talking over. I want to hear Shu talk. So, I don't think anything. Oh, another round. Okay. Here they go. Oh, oh no, no. Don't get in the corner. Uh oh, he's gone. He says he's okay. Dude, you should quit now. I think you're about to get knocked the F out, man. You're about to get knocked the F out. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, no. Stop the fight. He's not defending. Stop the fight. Stop the fight. Come on. Stop the fight, man. Stop the fight. Stop the fight. Stop the fight. Yeah. Um, again, I don't have any information on who this Western guy is. But we can tell that doesn't have that much sparring experience, it looks like. Or else... You're fighting a guy with his hands down, man. Maybe you should have had more aggression, worked the angles more. I mean, for those of you watching, how much boxing experience does this Western dude have? I mean, every time he gets hit, he kind of, by gut, wants to turn away a little bit. Not every time, but like, you know, 20% of the time, he just wants to turn away. Does the head gear on Dun Yong's head give him an advantage? Is that why he's being cocky? He feels like the headgear can protect him. 
What do you guys think? This is interesting. I was not expecting a match like this. I mean, what do you have to prove as a Western dude in, in China? Like, why do you want to challenge Kung Fu? And this is a practical type of Kung Fu. He's a Shui Jiao guy. He's been thrown for like 30 years of his life. He's not someone that cannot take hits. Jerry, me, as a guy that cannot take hits. <laughs> That's why I don't go challenge people like that. You guys leave your thoughts. What do you guys think? What does CTC stand for? Maybe we'll go look at CTC. I was trying to search this guy up on Chinese social media. Our Shui Jiao Master. Canadian Tire Store. Canadian Tourism College. I'm in Canada. That's why the search results are all weird. I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching those fight commentary breakdowns. I will have a lot more content from Whistler. The Gracie Baja School is awesome. Talk to you soon.